Good evening, everyone. Hello and welcome back to Let Us Play the X Files, folks. Uh, I am the Black Shadow. Last time, uh, we managed to um, f we've already managed to find Scully. Um, due to uh, a bit of information we got hold of, thanks to uh, the Lone Gunman folks. Uh, there's a variety of ways we can describe them, but we'll go with friends, Mulders, and Scullies. Um, we've been led to Alaska, folks, um, hunting uh, a Colonel Roush, folks, a Navy surgeon who appears to be the man that attacked us in Charno, and appears to be controlled by some kind of alien life form. Anyway, we went to Alaska, went to Roush's house, found Mulder, uh, managed to escape um, the uh, the NSA. Clearly, the military are trying to cover this all up, folks. Um, and now, uh, we are at a stage where we've everyone is now descending on the Juno airfield, folks. Um, Mulder, um, Scully, and Craig are all here, folks. Mulder has already gone on ahead. The alien is clearly here, folks. It's time to proceed. See on the walls, more of that, the, um... See these again, just like on the Tarakan? Yeah. This guy's dead as well. These are the security. You can see how far they got. Welcome to the airfield, folks. Now, keep your gun out on you at all times, because you never quite know what you may or may not run into. True story. Now, in this um, whole area, folks, there are these variety of PCs here, folks, which you can try and access. Most of the things, folks, you need um, verification from, um, which kind of sucks. But on all of them, you can view this. This is a map, folks. This is a map of the um, facility that we're in. Now, you can use this to give you a rough idea of roughly where you are. Um, however, it won't give you as much information as you might like, folks. Um, there is a specific way to clearing this area, folks, which I'm going to do my utmost to try and stick to. But most of these things um, don't work. So you don't, you don't actually need to use those at all. It's got a central communication area. That looks fun. We don't want to go that way first, though. First thing you want to do is, from the central entrance here, we want to head left, folks. Um, there's lots of little rooms here, actually, that you can enter. Not all of them are of any particular pertinent use, just so you know. So, um, you can skip a lot of these, but, you know, some of them might reveal things that uh, perhaps you were always meant to see. Ooh, dear. Mulder! Thank goodness, well, at least we found you. I need your help, Scully. I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. Sorry? I need for you to help me. Mulder? Um... Would you like to see my... No. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Has the... Has... Oh, no. I need your help, Scully. I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. I need for you to help me. The alien. Don't even say anything. Run. Run. Yeah! Um... Mulder seems to have been now being controlled by the alien folks. <laughs> oh dear. That's, um... That is, uh, that is a significant problem. Oh, God. Now, I'm pausing here now. I am instructing you guys right now, if you are playing along for some reason, 
Save your game. Save your game here right now because I am going to tell you a little secret about this area we are now in. There is no person in the world that has entered this area and has not died at least once. Yes, folks. If you walk forward, you die. There is no clue, no hint, no nothing. You walk forward, like you would know, do the oh goodness me, mold is being shot in the air, we're running away, my goodness me, get as far away as we can. Oh goodness me, we've been shot in the side by a security guard. Dick move number one of this area. Oh yes, folks. Major dick move. Yeah. Run, run, bloody blah. So what you want to do here, folks, get out your gun quickly. Turn right. Blast that sucker! Yeah, folks. Don't give him the chance, because he will kill you without you even knowing. That is way number one, that you will most likely die in this area, folks. However... There is a second way that you will most likely die in this area, folks. And this one is possibly even worse. If you walk forward here, there's a little area there, folks. Turn right. Now, extreme caution. Walk forward once and stop. Do not walk forward anymore, folks. Do not do it. I am going to show you why you don't do it with the power of save states. This room is a trap. If you walk forward into here, your game will end. It is as simple as that, folks. However, the worst part of it all is if you walk forward to here... We're not dead. At this point now that you have walked into this room, your game is over. You are dead. You cannot escape. You will die in one moment. But the problem here, folks, is you can still go into the pause menu. You can still save your game. And God forbid you are only playing with one save data. You save over your game here. And then you come out, you lead, you try to leave the place, you realise you can't, and you're like, fuck, shit, I'm dead. And then you are majorly boned because you saved over your only save slot. May God have mercy on your soul if that's what you did here, folks. Do not do it. If you try to leave this room, this happens. Whoa, Scully! Bit unnecessary. Agent Wilmore, I'm glad you're here. I know where Agent Mulder is. Uh -oh. Come with me. <laughs> yep. Nothing you can do about that, folks. Game over, and you get no option to try again. If you get shot by the guy, you can restart. If you don't, if you go in there, no restart option. You have to load your data, and if you saved in that area, that save is dead. It is useless. You can do nothing about it. You cannot get out of there. Please don't go in that damn room. Please. Instead, turn left and walk away. Do not enter that room for the love of God. Please don't. Right. What I need to do now, though, is figure out where the hell I need to go. This way? Whoa, shit! Oh, wasn't expecting that. Bollocks. Son of a... I wasn't expecting that. Ugh. Keep your gun out, like I said, folks. Didn't even listen to my own advice. Turn left. No, not that way. Walk forward. Turn left. Walk forward. 
have that mofo. Although he somehow manages to run away. Bastard. Where did he run to, folks? Hmm. Who knows? Right, so status report. Um, Mulder is currently controlled by the alien. Ignore the Scully thing now. Her being controlled. That only happens there if you walk into that room. Mulder is controlled by the alien. Now, we can't exactly start going around shooting um, Mulder. We can't even shoot him. We were told if we want to kill the alien, you got to use the stiletto. So, not good. Damn. Right, we're going to have to think of something else, folks. Not good at all. Can we go in here? Oh, we can. Oh, God, we're back here. Oh, bloody hell. Is that the... That's not the guy that, um... I think... That looks like that's the guy um, that came out of Roush's house. Oh, bloody hell. What happened in here? God. Fucking seen a death or what? Right, gun back out, folks. Right, now what we need to do is work out what we need to do next. So, let's head into here first. This is like a central sort of controlling area. So what have we got around here? Let's have a look. Uh, you can look down. Uh, this is also a layout of the whole map, of the whole area, folks. Um, you can see some areas have got lights, some don't have lights. If you turn back around, you'll find this, folks. Life support systems entry. Now, we need to do something with this, but we can't do it just yet. But remember that's there. Ooh, look at that. That looks fancy. Again. We'll get back to that later. Right, okay. Um, we need to figure out where to go next. Let's turn right. Is it in here? Ah, it is. There we are. That's what we need to do. Have another chat with um, Scully. Wilmore, well, any sign of Mulder? No. I haven't seen him either. What was he talking about? Why is he looking for a key? And what kind Ignore of key? that, folks. He said something about a storage chamber. Now I have to figure out why he's behaving this way and somehow get him out of here. We know what's wrong, folks. A few ways you can uh, have a chat here with Scully. We'll ask her. We'll ask. Why not? I think he's looking for what's being stored in this facility. Oh, really? Uh-huh. And what would that be? An alien craft that landed in the waters of the Pacific. Uh-huh. Somehow I knew that was coming. <laughs> you don't know very much about Agent Mulder, so let me explain a few things to you. you. Oh, brilliant. Um, I don't know if she carries on with that because, I, yeah. I think of some sort of key. Burn marks. What do you make of the fact that the guards were burned in the exact same fashion as the crew of the Terracon? Well, they've obviously been exposed to the same form of radiation. Although I have no idea what the source could be. I think I do. Gun out! Ambush! Motherfucker! Yeah. 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 Badness, folks. Ambush. You die. Not good, folks. That comes at the end of whichever one of these conversations you do have. Um, but, um, yeah. He said he was looking for a key in order to get past some sort of blast door. Okay. So what the hell is behind this? What you do? Door? Whatever it is, somebody's You're pretty serious out. about protecting it. I've been examining some things here. It looks to me like they've been studying the effects of different mutagens on genetic material. I've also found several references to very powerful hypnotic drugs. Now I'm just afraid that Agent Mulder has been exposed somehow to one of these compounds. You're not serious. Well, of course I am. Why? Mother! There you are. Goodbye. Yeah, um, Scully runs away. 
Um, but yeah, depending on what you ask her, you get sort of different answers, which is kind of cool. I like that. So, um, but yeah, Scully will run away. Um, she runs out that way. Darn. So, yeah, not so good. But we need to activate that scene, folks, um, with the security guard. Now we can start doing all the stuff that we want to do. Um, so... Can we do this bit now, or do we have to do one more thing first? I do forget. Oops. I think we have to do one more thing before we can do this part. Yeah, we can't do that bit yet, folks, because there's no power. So what we need to do now is head left. No, head forward and left. My apologies. Left. Console out, mind you. And we out. We want to head all the way around the ring, folks. And we want to head into here. Um. There's all sorts of things I've been doing here, folks, haven't they? Bastards. Nasty stuff. Right, okay then. Let's, um... What I want to do is I want to head into that... You saw that big room? Head through here. This, folks. This is a very special room. You see, there's a button down here. But there's no power to the entire area, so we can't use it. And uh, if we have a look around, you'll also notice that there's also a door on this side. Please bear in mind. First thing you want to do is to head into this little cubicle area here. Oh, it's you. I don't know what's wrong with Mulder. I think he's in some kind of a narco-somnambulistic state. Maybe if we can lure him into the isolation chamber. I, I can contain him until I can figure out how to treat him. Okay. How are we gonna do that? Well, first of all, we need to locate the other key that Mulder was looking for. Now, whatever is in that room is protected by some kind of a blast door. It looks to me like, like the, uh, the door is, is operated by two key panels. Both keys need to be turned simultaneously. Is he smiling? Like launching a nuclear missile. Now, there's a key guard in the corner of the room. Maybe if, if I distract him, you can come up behind him and knock him out. Then we can use the key to get Mulder into that chamber. But first, we have to get the isolation chamber powered up. Now, the, the door to the security area locked itself behind me, so we have to get that opened up first. Now, judging by Craig Wilmore's face, his interpretation of what Dana Scully just said was, I'm looking at Dana Scully. She's so beautiful. See the smile on his face? What an idiot. Anyways, look at the little devices on the left here, folks. Look at this one here again on the left, and you'll see... Pull to engage. It does say that. Power! I command you, power! That turns these lights on here. Now, what you want to do here, folks, is... Um, it doesn't hurt to experiment with these a little bit here. Now, Scully's plan, as she was so ably describing to us, not, not that um, Wilma was listening, was that we want to try and lure Mulder into here, folks. If we go get hold of the second key, we might be able to lure Mulder into here. Now, obviously, he's contained by the alien. Now, on both sides here, you've got these little slide doors to open. If we come in here... Blast doors, all sorts of bits and pieces, whatever else. But the important thing to note is that both the buttons are operated from outside. So what you want to do is go down the left, go around the other side, open both doors, folks. Because of course, if we're gonna lead if we're gonna lead Mulder into here, folks, we need an escape route. It's all well and good. Walk into here, Mulder walks into here, and then suddenly you get to this door and it's locked and you think, oh shit! And then you're trapped, and then you are fucked. Open both doors. You'll learn either the easy way or the hard way. I am delivering you the easy way! The hard way involves insufferable pain. I think the easy way is the better way. So now that we've done that, folks, now what we also need to do is head back into the main corridor and now that we've turned on all of the, we turned on the power, now you can come down to the left here 
and now you can press this button here. And that um, allows you to do stuff. Um, that still looks the same. Doesn't matter. It's not important. The important thing, folks, is that um, we turned that sucker on. Right then. So, oops. Okay then. So, we want, of course, now to get out of here, folks. But before you do... Before you go back into the room that you were just in, we'll put down another save state here because there is something very special you can do in here, folks. It involves this room here, folks. I know we quickly ventured into this. I was just making sure this was the correct room I needed. Always operating tables because if you turn to your right once you enter the room, you see, yeah, there's all sorts of pieces, sinks and whatever else, but if you turn to face the right, there's a very special tool that we could make use of. Ooh. Tasty. Cattle prod. That explains the cattle mutilation. Whoa, shit! Who the... Who the... F Agent Wilmore, fancy meeting you. Cook? So it's you. Yes, it's me. Oh, come on, folks. We <laughs> knew he was a bad. I guess you're curious about what the hell's going on here. Well, yeah, the thought had crossed my mind. Oh? <laughs> it was my job to divert attention away from the actual events. Plutonium smuggling, Russians, Wong, all made up. <laughs> Actually, I made everything up. Why? Money. Lots of it. It had nothing to do with any deeply held beliefs. It feels so good talking to you, but unfortunately, now Fuck I have to kill you. No, I mispressed. I really did my PDA. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear me. It's now time. My name is Agent Cook. I have been the traitor all along. It was all a cover up. Everything from taking on Smirnoff and everything else. It was all lies and planted evidence. Now it is time to kill you. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, Mark. Let me, let me just look at my PDA. Um, let me just look at my, my notepad. Um, let's see. What does my notepad say? Oh dear, uh, Dr. Roush is, um, he is going, uh, Mulder's going to the secret facility. Oh, by the way, Cook's a traitor! I didn't quite mean to do that, folks! What I kind of meant to do <laughs> was this. Actually, I made everything up. Dick! Show yourself! What? Ow! Ah! That is so unfair, folks, because the scene skipped to Craig. That when you put out the gun, there's a timer for you to shoot Mark. Because the, the film was on Craig, the timer's still ticking, but you can't shoot Mark because he's not in the frame. Actually, I made everything up. What a douchebag. Why? Why? Fuck you! Right in the fucking head! Bastard! Oh, that felt so good. Fucking traitor. Traitors get what traitors deserve, and that is death. Arsehole. Ah, uh, that is a drink in victory. <laughs> but yes, folks, you can completely and utterly miss that, folks. Um, and if you do, important plot information which you may never find out. Isn't that great? But now that the traitor is dead, now we can deal with uh, with Mulder, folks. Um, now, before anyone starts commenting anything about that scene... 
because there's something else about that scene, folks, which people who've played the game may know of. Do not say anything, please. I, I know what you're going to say. Don't worry. I will get to it. Maybe a slight little spoiler warning, but uh, not that anyone else knows about. <laughs> Anyways. So, we've cooked dead. Um, obviously, we've got both these doors open here, which is good. Now that we've activated, activated the uh, the life support systems, now this door opens up. Scully's already gone ahead, you see. I'm just going to save on another uh, save slot. There we are. Lovely. Right. Well, let's hope this works. Any particular direction you'd like to claim? Left to right, folks. I'm going to choose right. Um, you can go either way. Um, I want to go right. Just you can, Again, there's a lot of options here. I want to showcase going this way. Now, one thing you must always bear in mind, folks, of when Scully was giving her little mission operation brief, we should get hold of the guard who has the second key and knock him out. Craig Wilmore, unfortunately, does not quite understand the meaning of knock him out. Do you want to know what his idea of knocking him out is? Oh shit, it's Mulder! His idea of knocking him out... ...is... Oh. Oh shit, we failed. I'm sorry about this. This comes from the very top. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh shit, we failed. Well, it's not being dishonorably discharged, but... Fuck. That was the wrong thing to do, folks. Um, what, um, basically... I will show you what we have to do. What? Yeah, shut up, Scully. I'll show you. You have to shoot the guy, I'm sure. You have to shoot the guy, I'm sure about it. Hold on a second, I can't... Let me... Hold on, I'm going to get this to work, because I want to showcase this. Let me get gun out first. There we go. That's how you knock the guy out. Fuck you, alien. Fuck you. Oh shit, did we just... Oh god. We killed the alien... But we may have just killed Mulder too. Shit. Yeah. I'm sorry about this. This comes from the very top. There's nothing I can do about it. We can't just kill the alien because, unfortunately, if you kill the alien, it also kills the host. We need to think of a better way of doing things. Now, we can go the right way. Well, let's hope this works. Um, and what you're kind Any of... particular direction you What you kind of do, if you go that way, is the idea is you're supposed to shoot the guard and then take the key. Now, if you go the left way, folks, a completely different scene plays out. Oh. Sir, I'm Agent Dana Scully with the FBI. Do not come any further. This facility has been overrun by terrorists. I need your assistance. I can't leave my home. Sir, I am an FBI agent. I am asking you have three for your assistance. Before I shoot. I One, need your help, sir. Two, I need for you to come three. with me. Oh, God! He actually shot her! You can't do that. That's that's Gillian Anderson. You can't do that. That's illegal in about forty odd states. And that's just that's just not right. You can't do that. What? I'm sorry about this. We get fired. This comes from the very top. He shot her. There's nothing I can do about it. He shot her. Not us. What a load of. 
God's wallop that is. No, folks, yeah. Um, there's so many ways you can fuck this all up, it's brilliant. So, what you need to do is, quote unquote, knock the guy out. Of your handcuffs. But like that. Because that's how federal agents knock people out. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Now, run. Oh shit, don't run that direction. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, God. I didn't mean to show that dying there. God damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Bollocks. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to show that death screen there, folks. God damn it. Should we try this again? I will get it right, folks. Yeah, you have to go a specific way. I forgot. Well, let's hope this works. So, what you have to do is, um, yeah. I forgot there's a specific way you have oh, to run. Sir, I may Last that guy get that poor bastard. <laughs> he does get it. He, he gets it hard in this game. Right. Save the game. Now I think we have to do is turn right. Go forward. Turn left. Forward. Open the door. Turn right. Through this door. Through. Go through one end of the chambers, all the way around. Turn around. Scully shuts that door. Shut yours. Trap Mulder inside. That is how you do it. Jeez. Oh shit! He's got us! Oh god! You'll notice this plays a little bit differently this time. For something to live, Something must be sacrificed. Nearly there, folks. Um, that is what you do have to do. You need to do that in the order that I did in order to get um, Mulder trapped in the um, in the box. That's all correct. But you notice how the alien then ended up somehow controlling us, folks. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, 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 shit, what are we supposed to do about that, you know? I mean, you know, uh, what else can we do? Well, you see, I've kind of already sealed our fate, folks. Um, I did it deliberately, because I wanted to show you guys what could happen. Oh, sorry, my uh, Coca-Cola coming back up there. You see, I went and actually did it completely wrong. If we go back, folks, to um, our third save file... Now, I saved, um, I put a save state down in the middle of our chat with Cook. You remember how we were chatting with him, how I blasted him with our gun, folks? Now, you see what I was saying? Don't put any comments down, because that is actually the wrong action. You don't want to shoot him. You see, there's a second action you can do, folks, and you must do this in order to beat the game. Actually, I made everything up. What you must do, Why? do not shoot him. Money. Cattle prod. Lots of it. Get in with the cattle prod, folks. That is what you need to do, folks. Now, bear in mind, we used the gun, we shot him between his eyes. Now, obviously, cattle prod, a bit less lethal an option, isn't it, folks? So... Now, well that we've done that to Cook, he's not actually dead. 
So if now if we go through this whole bit here. Yep, 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 whatever. I feel sorry, this security guard gets it so hard. Oh. Sir, I'm Agent no, Jones you can't, you just let one him either. You can't this arrest him. Has been overrun by <laughs> Poor bastard. I've shot him four times. I thought I was bad on Scully. So if you now repeat the process, things play out differently. So again, right, forward, left, forward, forward, right, nearly fucked up, you have to be quick, forward, 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 turn around, doors. Now this scene suddenly plays differently. Oh shit! The aliens got cook. Turn the key. Uh oh. Turn the key. All right, all right, already. All right, all right, all right, all right. Turn the key. Jesus, you have to point a gun at me, you know. Sorry about this. Oh god damn it! This comes from the very top. There's nothing I can do about it. Wrong answer, folks. I don't see quite what's wrong with that. I mean, you know, the the you know, the the um we know cooks a baddie, fine. You know, I don't see what's so bad about that, you know, the, the alien gets to go and is is it goes back to his UFO, gets to fly off, do whatever. Why why can't that be alright? What you know, do we have to kill the fucking thing? Well, if you wanna beat the X Files, you kinda do. So, what you want to do is, yeah, cook, yeah, <laughs> bastard, is watch the screen carefully. Motus Scully turns up there. Turn the key. Get your stiletto Turn out. Throw it to Scully. Who's the backstabber now? Oh yeah, I went there. Dickhead. Agent Wilmore, I know you're upset by what's transpired, but we're all affected when one of our own goes bad. I never saw it coming. <laughs> Mark was my friend. I should have been more attentive, perhaps. Yeah, so your None fault, of us Shanks. are at fault. Uh, hold on. Well, hello. Like Cook himself. Miss Anderson. Hello. Come in, please. I just please, to take goodbye. a seat. I spoke to Detective Astrodorian. Apparently, they searched Cook's apartment and found my laptop, fortunately. But uh, it seems as though Cook staged the break-in here in order to make it look as if he'd been attacked. Well, it seems that Agents Mulder and Scully have been uh, talking to Assistant Director Skinner. Yes, apparently your work has received quite a bit of attention at the Bureau. You have quite a fan in Assistant Director Skinner. Although I must admit some of what I've heard sounds a bit fantastic, <laughs> to put it mildly. Well, yes, sir, I agree. I'd have to plead the fifth on that. Anyway, I've got a plane to catch, but Agent Mulder wanted me to tell you that his foot has woken up. Well, thank goodness That's for right. that. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. I ain't shaking your hand, Shanks. You're looking a little ragged around the edges. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? I'll see you here tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And oh, I expect your report on this matter to show up when you do. Yes, sir. Oh, Detective Astadorian also mentioned she had some paperwork for you to sign. She said she'd drop it by your place. 
although I told her she could send it here. She seemed uh, adamant about handing it off to you directly. Yes, sir. Oh, really, Mr. Wilmore, you little devil. Look, here you go. Agent Wilmore. Whoa, Jesus, it... Oh. I guess I know what you want. Hold on a second, I'll go get it. I think not. You'd better keep it. You're gonna need it again. Soon. Insert evil laugh here. Unfortunately, though, folks, there never was a second game, unfortunately. But that... Let's play the X-Files, folks. I hope you enjoyed that little blast into the past. I, I certainly did, folks. It's a fun little game to play. It it's not the longest one in the world, admittedly, but uh, it's good entertainment. The, the variety of things you can actually do and the, um, the sheer amount of that detail is, uh, is quite something else, to be fair. Um, but yeah, folks, a lot of fun. Probably enjoyable, um, and like I say, it, it's just, it's so easy to have a joke with. Um, it, it's, it's great entertainment. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys have all enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I say, yeah, unfortunately there was never a second game uh, that, that came out as far as that was concerned. We never saw any more of Craig Wilmore. Um, there was, a, later on, uh, an X-Files game released, I think it was PS2, uh, many years um, further on, but it had absolutely nothing to do with anything like this. It was completely separate. I've never actually seen it though, but I, I'm aware it exists. I, I forget what it's called, uh, but very, very different. Hair and makeup for Mr. Dutch V and Ms. Anderson. Really? I don't know, folks. I know this is outrageous. Talk about early 90s detective music. Sounds like something to be coming out of professionals, this. Points for anyone who knows who they are, by the way. Major point for you guys. But anyways, folks, so I guess I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, this little uh, little side run. I, I, I've been waiting to do this LP for a while. Fun things have kind of gotten in the way. But it's, it, I've been, it's been nice to finally get onto it. Um, and, of course, there's a the little thing we can do, obviously, now, of course, um, after this. Finally, 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 folks, after a bit of um, meaning to get around to it, finally, we are going to embark on probably one of the uh, the biggest games ever to grace the PlayStation 2, folks. Um, that, as I have mentioned in the past, of course, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. It is finally time to revisit the world of GDA. Um, we haven't been there obviously since Vice City and... A3 before that, which will be a hell of a lot of fun. Um, that will be coming up um, not directly after this. We've got a, a, a small session um, to do with Dark Chronicle first, um, and then we will be uh, embarking on a brave new world, folks. Um, but, like I say, that was with the X Files, so I thank you guys all so, so much for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, there's not really much to say. Um, you know, if if this has got you somewhat interested in watching the X Files, I'm um, again, you're probably not the only one. <laughs> oh goodness me! But it's just so nice just to go back to this sort of thing, you know. And this is X Files back in its early days. I said I think it was set between seasons two and three or something like that. It was quite early on, to be fair. Um, so uh, all sorts of get on fun and games. But anyways, thank you guys all so so much for watching. Um, you've been as great as always um, watching along. Thank you so much, and um. I'll see you down the line, so take care. Ta-ta for now.